Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the second tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about DBMS and uh, relational database management systems and we're also going to see how we can download and install MySQL in our systems, right? So a database management system or DBMS as uh, I said in the last tutorial is a software through which we execute SQL queries and uh, it's, it's an interface between us and the database. So whatever you have to do with the database, if you want to create database objects like tables and views and those kind of things, or if you want to store data in your databases, or if you want to delete data from your databases or uh, edit data, then all of that has to be done through SQL, right? And uh, there are lots of different vendors for database management systems in the market. You have uh, Oracle Corporation, you have Microsoft, and then uh, MySQL is also now uh, you know, managed by Oracle, but it was manufactured by some other company. And, uh, you know, IBM has got its uh, database management system too. So there are lots, lots and lots of different uh, database management systems available. And uh, the one that we're going to use throughout in this course is MySQL. And uh, we're going to talk about MySQL too, but uh, for the time being, uh, just know that there are lots of different tools with which you can learn SQL and with which you can uh, you know, work and uh, although we're going to use MySQL, but you know, I would recommend uh, after you finish this course, you can download other systems and you know, uh, practice SQL queries on those systems as well. And also check out the functions that are specific to those functions. And we're going to talk uh, more about this later on. Next, uh, we need to know what an RDBMS is, and uh, an RDBMS is a relational database management system, and. Uh, it, it's based on the relational model, which was developed in uh, the 70s, I guess. And uh, in a relational model, data is organized in tables. And there are a lot of uh, other models, like you have the network model or the hierarchical model for uh, data organization. But uh, in an RDBMS, you use a relational model. And a table, as you guys know, is a structure that contains rows and columns. And at the intersection of rows and columns, you store your data. Right, so you can think of a table as an Excel sheet. So just as in an Excel sheet, you have a bunch of rows and a bunch of columns, and uh, wherever the rows and columns intersect, you know those are the places where you can put in your data. So a table is uh, is just that; it's nothing more than that or different than that. And uh, we're going to talk more about table and particularly the SQL jargon, like you know what a field is and what a record is and those kind of things later on. But for the time being, just know that. A table is a structure in which data is stored in a database. Uh, you know, if you're working with uh, an RDBMS, then that is the sort of, uh, you know, fundamental unit of storage, right? And uh, next, we are going to talk about what MySQL is. And it's a database management system that was developed in 1994 by some Swedish company. And uh, I forgot the name. What was it? I guess it was AB. I'm not sure. Uh, but you can check. And uh, it's an open source database management system. You can use it for free, right? And uh, the version that we're going to uh, learn to install in this tutorial, we're going to learn to install the free version. And there's also an enterprise edition available. So if you guys uh, are uh, thinking about using it in your organization, then you might have to download and install the enterprise edition. You can also call the guys at MySQL and they might help you, give you a little bit of support and technical assistance in uh, you know, uh, installing it on all machines in your organization. But uh, we're not going to talk about that here. And uh, some of the features of MySQL are that it runs on various platforms and it's really easy to use and it keeps your data safe and secure and it offers great performance results. So it's one of the best uh, database management systems, if not the best. And uh, I, for some reason, like Oracle more maybe because it offers more functions, but uh, MySQL is also pretty cool. And I guess it's also the most widely used DBMS in the world. So, you know, that makes it even more special. So next, we are going to see how we can download MySQL and how we can install it. So to download MySQL, uh, you'll have to obviously use a web browser, right? So I'm going to make a Google search. I'm going to search for MySQL download and uh, press the enter key. And you have to follow the first link that pops on your screen. And you click on that and you'll be redirected to the MySQL page uh, and the download section here. And uh, you see a lot of products here, like you see the MySQL Enterprise Edition, and the Cluster Edition, and this and that. But the one that we are interested in is the MySQL installer for Windows, right? So if you're working uh, with a Windows machine, this is what you need. And if you're working with Mac or Linux, then 
maybe I'm going to discuss instructions to install MySQL on uh, those platforms later on. But for the time being, we're going to see how we can install this thing on Windows, right? So the setup that you should uh, be interested in, you can uh, locate it in the left panel here, and uh, we have to download the MySQL installer for Windows. If you don't want to select it from here, then you can uh, scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page, and uh, you would see MySQL installer here too, right? So this is what you want. And uh, you click on it, right? And it tells you that you can use this installer to install all of these. You can use it to install MySQL Server and connectors and MySQL for Excel, which is a plugin, and MySQL for Visual Studio. So if you want to, uh, you know, create .NET applications using MySQL at the back end, then you can, uh, you know, install this thing and sample databases which we're going to be using this course, and the Workbench uh, GUI tool for MySQL Server. So you know, there, there are a lot of things uh, that this installer is going to allow us to install and we can install these items individually as well. We're not going to use all of them, but we're going to use uh, quite a lot of them and you also have documentation bundled in this. But it would be better if we install all of these because uh, maybe not now, but in future we might uh, use connectors or you know, even Notifier or MySQL for Excel too. So, uh, you know, just download the setup that's there at the bottom. Right, so you select the version that you have to install and then just click on download and it's going to download it for you. And I've already downloaded this, so I'm not going to download it again. And I'll just show you how to install it once the download is complete. Right, so I'll minimize this. And uh, in the downloads directory, I have this set of file, the one that I just got. And I've installed the installer too. Right, so now I'm going to install MySQL products using the installer. So let me uh, execute this file. So the setup is going to ask you to give it permissions to make changes to your system and after you click run and uh, okay, maybe 500 times, you're gonna see this window in which you have to select the option install MySQL products, right? So you click on this and then it's going to ask you to make a couple of checks and you have to make these checks uh, by clicking on the execute button here. So it's going to first connect to the internet. It's gonna see whether you have a good internet connection or not. And then it's going to fetch some product update information, right? So you click on execute, right? And uh, it's going to check. This might take a little bit of time. So it's verified that we are connected to the internet. And uh, it's also checked for the update information, uh, you know, which wasn't very required, but it still made the check. And uh, then we're going to get to the second option, which is uh, choosing a set of type. And uh, there are lots of, uh, you know, options that you have. So you can, you know, either go for server alone, which is just going to install the MySQL server and nothing else. You won't have, uh, you know, workbench or anything. And uh, then there is this full option, which we're going to check. Then you have custom in which you can select, uh, you know, one of the several tools that we saw on the MySQL page, right? So I would recommend that you install the full version because it's going to contain all the things like the server and the workbench and connectors and documentations and, you know, all of that. So. Uh, after you've selected the full option, click on next, and then it's going to check whether uh, you satisfy or your system satisfies all the requirements uh, for the database to be installed, right? And uh, to make the check, you have to click on execute again. And uh, there you go, you see that I have all these green check marks, which means that I satisfy all the requirements, and uh, I can click on next now. And uh, in case your system is not uh, updated or if it doesn't satisfy any requirement, then this setup, this installation thing, which is actually going to install those things and it's going to ask for your permission if you want to make uh, those changes, if you want to install the things that are required for this installation to proceed or not. So if you give it permission, then it's, it's going to move, move ahead with the installation, right? And then uh, you have to click on execute again because it's again asking you if you want to install all these things or not and uh, we want it so we're going to click on execute and then uh, all these items would be installed uh, one by one so sql server is being installed right now and then uh, you see that after this is installed the workbench uh, would be installed and so on and so forth all products would be installed so once all these items are installed uh, you can click on next when you click on next, uh, it's going to configure the server and uh, also the sample of databases when you click on next again. And uh, then it's going to ask you what type of configuration do you want the installation to proceed with. So if you are uh, you know, not using anything else on the system, which is pretty unlikely, 
then you can select the dedicated machine option. But if you are going to use other applications uh, as well, then uh, you should select the development option, which is uh, not going to give all your system's mem memory to the MySQL server, right? And uh, make sure that the port number here is 3306, that's 3306. And uh, then if uh, these options are selected, then you can click on next. And uh, then it's going to ask you for MySQL root password, right? And uh, you can type in anything that you remember because if you forget this, then uh, you'll be in big trouble. So I'm just going to put in my name and you can put in anything that you want. And uh, one more thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a user. And to do that, you have to click on the add user button here uh, in the bottom right section. And then you can give the user a username. So I'm going to call it self. And uh, I'll also give a password for that. And you can also select uh, roles and privileges for this uh, you know, user, like whether you want it to be the admin or if you want it to be the you know, instance manager or the uh, DB designer or whatever. But we are going to let it do everything. So for that, you have to uh, give it the role of DB admin, right? And uh, then you can click on OK. So the user will be created. And uh, then you can click on Next. And uh, this uh, is going to ask you whether you want the MySQL server service to uh, start up when the operating system is powered on. And uh, that's not actually a bad idea. So you can proceed with that. And then you click on Next. And uh, it's going to configure your product. And uh, this might take uh, a few seconds. So there you go. We see that uh, the configuration is complete. And I'll uh, click on next to complete the configuration for samples and examples too. And uh, the configuration for that is complete too. So when I click on next now, I see that uh, the installation is complete. And I can uh, start my uh, SQL Workbench, uh, which is the GUI tool to access the server. So when I click on the finish button, a new window opens up. And uh, in this window, I see the Workbench. Right, so this is what it looks like. This is the MySQL Workbench. We're going to work with this throughout in this uh, course. And you can do loads of different things like uh, create new connections or edit SQL scripts. And uh, you know we're going to check out all the features of this tool. And uh, it's going to be real fun learning this. And uh, that's it for now. And uh, I hope I didn't bore you guys. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial in which uh, we'll uh, talk about some other DBMS concepts maybe. And uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. And I'll see you soon.